Donna from The Masquerade, and I want to talk to you about squaring off your quilt blocks when you're done making a quilt. It's probably the most crucial part in finishing your quilt top. Many of us like to skip this step, and I understand. You know, you spend all those hours piecing those beautiful blocks, and then you want to see it all put together. But who wants to spend another hour trimming off blocks? It's really important, and it might actually save you time. As much time as it takes, it's really not that hard. You have a square ruler, you have your quilt block, it looks square to you, but they're all probably a little bit different in size when you're done piecing them. And so what you do is you look at all your blocks, you throw them under your square ruler, you see which one's the absolute smallest block, and you make it as square as you can to the edges of this block. And in this case, my block is about seven and a half inches, but my smallest block was seven and a quarter. So I'm going to square this one to seven and a quarter inches. So you put it in the corner of your ruler that starts with a one inch square. Some rulers have a half an inch at the end and on one side too. And you don't want to start on that side because you'll be confused when you look at the actual width of your of your block. So you, you put your block in and you look at what it is and right now one side's about seven and a half inches and the other one's a little more than seven and a half inches but my smallest block was seven and a quarter so I'm going to make this a seven and a quarter inch block by trimming a little bit off of each side and then I either spin the block to do the other two sides or I spin my mat if I have a rotary mat and I do the other two sides. Sometimes you're taking a sliver of a, a bit of fabric off but when you're finally done, they'll all be exactly the same size and they're going to go together perfectly without any questions, without having to worry about match se matching seams. They'll automatically match up and it makes putting your quilt top together so much easier. If you don't square them off, you find yourself stretching a little here, pulling a little there, trying to make them fit together so that the seams between the blocks match up. And what you end up with is something a little bit wonky. It might be puffy, it might be twisted, it's not going to hang straight. When you go to quilt it, you might have pieces that have puffed out and then they end up folding over. It becomes a mess and so you might end up taking some of these blocks apart and rebuilding them to make them fit the other blocks. That's time consuming, so it's actually worth the effort to go in and square your blocks off. So that's my tip for the day. Remember to square off your blocks.